What if he said, look, I lost my girlfriend. I'm down in the dumps. I was feeling sorry for myself. There's no excuse for it. I made a, I made a terrible. Would, would we be more sympathetic if somebody said, I lost my girlfriend. I was feeling sad for myself. I need to grow up, get over myself. But I, I think we've all been in a situation where you lose a woman. B O O H O. Oh no no! But I, would you be more sympathetic no. with the guy who was? I would I'm, suck it up. I'm, I'm sure s- social media would be completely sympathetic to that. Would not. Well, they're not sympathetic to this. What is he? 15 years old? I just lost my girlfriend. You ever it's had? Really hard. Have you ever had your heart broken, Satan? Of course. Okay. And did you go out drinking all night? Yeah, of course. I still showed up to work the next day. Did you have a migraine? I, I happen to be a <laughs> severe migraine sufferer. Yes, Fritzy. I'd totally be less sympathetic because uh, I'd actually be more sympathetic because he's doing he's putting himself out there. He's in New York, and he had the courage to explain exactly <laughs> what he was going through. <laughs> oh. I don't know if it's courage. I just think it's being honest. I th- I think people might be a little more sympathetic to somebody who said, "Look, I made a I made a mistake, man. I was down in, I was down in the dumps." You guys have seen Adriana Lima. How would you feel if you lost her? Exactly. Yeah, right. Yes, well. Do you know why people are mad at Matt Harvey, especially Mets fans? He's a millionaire who sh- didn't show up to not work. He had the day off. All he had to do was go to the ballpark, p- be work. present. He has nothing to do. What does he <laughs> snap a towel around and long toss? And that's why people are mad at Matt Harvey is because he makes $5 million a year and he didn't show up to not work. The thing that I would be day. mad about with Matt Harvey is he thinks he's more than what he is. You, if you want to be Derek Jeter, you still have to produce. On, Jeter didn't miss work. Nobody cares that he went out to four in the morning. They care that he's one in sex. Yeah, because Jeter could have stayed out till four in the morning with Scarlett Johansson or and, Jessica Alba, but he showed up for work. Jeter's hitting three thirty. Nobody cares when Jeter's going out. He's he's lauded for going out. Like, look at this guy. He could balance the social life of New York and being the Yankee captain. What a what an upstanding guy. He's hitting three forty. Yeah, see. I think it sounds like Harvey's pretty close. Being an overrated player, dates supermodels. That's pretty close to you. Yes. What? <laughs> yes, that's it's weird. What if he went third person and said, you know, the dark night goes into dark places sometimes. And this was one of those times. I don't understand. I'm not trying to. What he just, what he did, he should have showed up for work that day. Yes. Right? Yes. That was a problem. And he let his team down, whatever. But it, maybe it's just because of the subjects we've been covering. But we led into this with, we started this segment with a guy who broke a woman's jaw and a dude who killed puppies for fun. And, oh, yeah, speaking of which, another egregious act, Matt Harvey got <laughs> hammered one night and didn't show up for work. Maybe we're making – is it possible that we're making too big of a deal of this? No, because the average fan out there who makes $42,000 a year and pays these guys' salaries looks at him and says, you can't even show up to work after having a couple of drinks to not work for your $5 million a year. I know it's apples and oranges, but it's sports anger. And there's different kinds of sports angers. Joe Mixon's sports anger is different than Matt Harvey's sports anger. How many other people have not showed up to work or in just in sports? How many other baseball players have been like, oh, I didn't show up, and they don't have to do a press conference saying they're sorry? But if you let the team know, I'm sure it happened many, many times with Mickey Mantle. Many, many times. But Matt Harvey didn't approach it in the right way. If you're at least in touch with your pitching coach, if you're, if you're in touch with somebody, they couldn't get a hold of him, Seton. I understand that. I just feel so he like, made it worse. Yes, he did make it worse. I feel like if the team actually liked him, this wouldn't have blown up into a big deal. True. I think that the team is actually doing this to him. But Because s- if he played on the Royals and they actually liked him, it's not getting out of Kansas City. They're going to be like, hey, dude, what are you doing? Hey, pay a fine and show up next time. Sorry your heart got broken. He may be a Royal soon. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.